welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do another STEAM video and seen in our previous video we have done art, science, and engineering but today we're going to do something on mathematics and it's based on a very fascinating sequence. Do you know what it is? Well, it's called the Fibonacci sequence and we're going to learn about it in a slideshow I made. Let's begin. The magic of the Fibonacci sequence in nature. If you are wondering who is Fibonacci, Leonardo Pisano Fibonacci, or Leonardo of Pisa, is considered the greatest Western mathematician of the Middle Ages. When he was traveling with his father to Bugia, today Bajaya, Algeria, and Northern Africa, he learned the Hindu Arabic numerals that he found to be easier to use for calculation than the Roman numerals, which he used before he learned the Hindu Arabic numerals. He worked hard at, to introduce it to the rest of the world in the books he wrote. Among all of his written books, the most popular one is Libra Baki, where he wrote about solving real world math problems using algebraic methods and the Hindu Arabic numerals. For all of his work, Leonardo is best known for the number pattern that appeared in his famous rabbit problem, known as the Fibonacci sequence. Scientists and mathematicians know that the sequence is special because it's a blueprint that describes how living things like plants, flowers, and fruits grow in an orderly, harmonious way. This number pattern can also be found in the works of human imagination, like the architecture of buildings, some music, painting, and even poetry. But today we're gonna to focus on the magic of the Fibonacci sequence in nature. Let's start with a seed. This seed will grow into a plant. When it grows, it can be a daisy or a tree, but now it's just a seed. The calla lily is a flower with one petal. The Asiatic day flower has two petals. The spider wart has three petals. The hibiscus has five petals. The blood root has eight petals. And the black eyed Susan has 13 petals. Notice the order of the boxes in this. The numbers of petals on these flowers are one, two, three, five, eight, and 13. These numbers have a special relationship to each other and to nature. This special number sequence begins with one and one. In order to get the next special number, we need to add the two numbers before it. The formula for this is Fn equals Fn minus one plus Fn minus two. Let's make the sequence. One plus one is two. One plus two is three. Two plus three is five. Three plus five is eight. Five plus eight is 13. And eight plus 13 is 21 and so on. These special numbers are popularly known as the Fibonacci numbers. These ubiquitous numbers appear everywhere in nature. It could be the number of petals on a flower, on a pineapple, on a pine cone, a sunflower, an aloe plant, a rose, and many more. Let's explore them. Now let's see some pineapple spirals. The hexagonal bracts on a pineapple can be seen to form three different directions of spirals. In general, pineapples have five, eight, and 13 in spirals, which are three consecutive Fibonacci numbers. So you can go get a pineapple and look for yourself. See how many you can find. Now let's see a little bit about the pine cone spirals. Most of the various species of pine cones, example, Norway sprouts, Douglas fir, and larch have two different directions of spirals. The number of spirals in each direction will most often be two consecutive Fibonacci numbers, eight and 13. If we look down below, all these images are of the same pine cone, which is the one at the very left. But the one at the very left have two different directions of spirals. So for your ease, I colored the spirals for you to see. So if we look at the image in the middle, that is the left oriented spirals, and you can see that there are eight of them. And if we look at the picture at the very right, we can see that there are 13 right oriented spirals. Now let's see some sp sunflower spirals. Sunflowers have many spirals. The older the sunflower gets, the more spirals it has. But the number of spirals is always a Fibonacci number. They usually will have the following pairs. 13 spirals on the left oriented side and 21 right oriented spirals. But other pairs that could be found are 21 to 34, 34 to 55, 55 to 89 and 89 to 144. So if we look at the sunflower in the middle, the image in the middle, they're all the same sunflower, but if we look at the image in the middle, we can see that there are 13 left-oriented spirals. And if we look at the image at the very right, there are 21 right-oriented spirals. See if you can find some spirals on your own sunflowers. 
I found some images of leaves that have the Fibonacci numbers in them. Look around and see if you can find some too, and try to find the pattern in these. So since we found some leaves, let's talk a little bit about philotaxis. What is philotaxis? Philotaxis is the arrangement of leaves on a stem and in relation to one another. All the plants and trees in nature arrange their leaves so each of them get enough sunlight and space to grow as they get older. Begin from the bottom leaf, zero, and count the rotations around the stem until you reach the next leaf that is above the first leaf you counted and pointing in the same direction. The number of rotations will be a Fibonacci number. The number of leaves you will pass along the way to reach the final leaf will also be a Fibonacci number. So here are some examples of Philotaxis. So we have an elm, a cherry tree, and a pear tree. Now let's learn a little bit about the Fibonacci number spiral. We can get this Fibonacci number spiral, does it look familiar? By drawing a curved line through the squares beginning from the center square from where the Fibonacci numbers start. The spiral grows as we continue the Fibonacci sequence. So if we look here and count the boxes and see what numbers are inside them, they are 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, and 55. And if we take a line from the first one and grow through the boxes, we get a big, nice spiral. Now that we've seen the spiral, let's see and look around if we can find the same spiral on some animals. So the nautilus shell is an animal that has a spiral inside of its shell, and it is a marine animal. We can find the same spiral on a snail shell too. And the spiral can also be visible on a chameleon's tail and an elephant's trunk when it's curled up. So here are some examples of the Fibonacci number sequence, pattern, and spiral. So here we have a rose, an aloe vera plant, the sections of a lemon, the seeds of an orange, the curl of a kakuma fern, the tail of a seahorse, the whorl of our fingerprints, the shape of our ear, the curl of a tornado, and even a galaxy. Fibonacci is everywhere. See if you can find Fibonacci and let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed this and thank you and goodbye.